The potential of antibodies for application in medicine and biotechnology is enormous, and their market was valued at 85.4 billion US dollars in 2015. With 100 kilograms produced annually, one gram is thus worth close to 1 million US dollars on average. But what are antibodies? Any infection, or vaccination for that matter, induces specific antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins. They are the central part of our acquired ability to eliminate specific pathogens once they have entered our bodies. Antibodies patrol our bloodstream and bind to pathogens in the process marking them for destruction by immune cells. We have depicted here the main isotype, an IgG, which has a characteristic Y-shape, the stem or FC connected by a flexible region to two arms sticking out at both sides, referred to as FAB. They contain the variable domains, the business end of the antibodies, which bind the target, also referred to as an antigen. The larger part of the antibody is referred to as the constant domain, which as the name indicates is identical for each antibody isotype and mediates the interaction with the immune cells. Antibodies consist of four polypeptide chains, one pair of heavy chains, which are the long peptides that together form the FC and branch off with a flexible hinge to form one half of the fab. The second half of the fab is formed by the light chain. Zooming in, the tip of the variable domain is formed by six loops, also referred to as the complementarity determining regions, or CDR. They define the affinity for the antigen and their amino acid sequence is different in each antibody, explaining why this domain is referred to as variable. Over 100 years ago, the Nobel laureate Paul Ehrlich had already recognized the potential of immunoglobulins to fight infectious diseases, but there was a long way to go before the first antibodies were approved as therapeutics in 1986. Currently, more than 40 antibodies are approved for diverse diseases, including five of the top 10 best-selling therapeutics. With over 100 new monoclonal antibodies currently in clinical trials, they will continue to revolutionize medicine.